fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. اهلا بيكم في حلقه جديده وفيديو جديد لقناتنا English for Arabs النهارده ان شاء الله هناخد الوحده السادسه بارت 1 هذا ضم الفيديو معاني الكلمات شرح الاسئله بالاضافه الى PowerPoint للجرامر اهم حاجه ان الطالب يحفظ الكلمات كويس جدا in English not in Arabic يحفظ الكلمات باللغه الانجليزيه مش بالعربي ويبدا ان هو يستمع للغه الانجليزيه We are going to use English. We are not gonna use Arabic in our explanation, so please try to keep the words by heart. In English, this is Unit Six, and this is the beginning of Level Pre-Intermediate Two. Pre-Intermediate Two includes Units Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, and Ten. From Unit Six. To level to unit 10. Interchange to for sedation. Before you start this level, be sure that at least you have finished four lectures of the phonetic course. Speak American in 10 minutes. أهم حاجة إن الطالب لو كان جديد على القناة وعامل امتحان تحديد مستوى وطلع في pre intermediate 2 فعليه ان الطالب لازم ان يبدأ بكورس الصوتيات قبل اليونت ديت وقبل ما يبدأ المستوى بتاعنا لان نوت عندنا امريكان فهيبدأ على الاقل خالص يخلص اول اربع او خمس حلقات من كورس الصوتيات كورس الصوتيات ست محاضرات طبعا لو الطالب قدر ان هو يخلص ست محاضرات يبقى كويس جدا unit 6 okay no problem page 36 1 Nag, to complain continuously, criticize, to say bad things about. Don't respect my privacy, aren't careful to keep my things secret. Bother, bother, that sound, bother, annoy. How, household chores, household chores. Means regular works at home such as cleaning washing the dishes to turn down decrease pick up collect hang up to finish your telephone conversation hang up to finish your telephone conversation goodness an exclamation showing surprise or annoyance so goodness and exclamation Definitely, definitely, certainly. Three. Trash, garbage. Put out, I can make the tea of tea. Put out, put out the cigarette. Put out the cigarette. To stop burning, to stop, to stop burning. Turn on, turn off. Five the words of exercise number five. Clean up the mess. Clean up the kitchen. Hang up the towel. Pick up the toys. Put away the newspapers. Take out the garbage. Throw out the old food. Turn on your laptop. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Six survey questionnaire. Survey questionnaire. Psychologist P silent. Psychologist, a scientist in psychology, in majority of, in majority of, T of T, British in majority of, in majority of, American in majority of, in most of, in most of, of, so if of, okay, no problem, 
Unit 6 Exercise 1 Snapshot Look at the picture. What do you see? This picture. Man, woman, husband, wife. Second picture. Boy, girl, son, daughter. Parents. What about the, the parents? They are wearing classic. They have classic fashions, but look at their kids. This one is listening to music. He has a backward cap, backward cap. He's drinking juice. She's talking to her friends all the time on mobile. And she texting, she she texting her friends. Common complaints of families with teenagers. What are the common complaints of families with teenagers? Who are teenagers? Teenagers, boys and girls from 11 to 19 years old. So teenagers are from 11 to 19 years old. What are teenagers like? Teenagers are nervous, not rational, emotional. Don't listen to the advice of other people, of the elder people. Teenagers very sensitive and emotional. My kids don't help around the house. My kids, my son and daughter, never help us around the house. What mean around the house? They don't help us in doing the household chores. They don't cut the grass in the garden. They don't do anything. Our, my kids are always texting their friends all the time. They are having the mobiles and texting their friends. Send text messages to their friends. My friends, my kids, my kids never listen to us. My kids, my children never listen to us. I tell him to do something, he disobey. He or she disobeys me, disobeys me doesn't listen to me doesn't follow my orders my kids eat too much junk food they eat a lot of fast food junk food fast food my kids leave everything until the last minute if i ask them to do their homework they leave it until the last minute until the exam if i ask them to study they never study but only when the exam is tomorrow, they start study. What about the complaints of kids about their parents? My parents, you see what? My parents embarrass me in front of my friends. They put me in a very ashamed situation. They embarrass me. They put me in shame. My parents don't respect my privacy. They violate my privacy. They don't respect my privacy. My parents criticize my taste in music. My parents don't respect my taste in music. My parents say bad things about my taste in music. My parents nag me to clean up my room. Nag. To ask continuously. They ask me all the time to clean up my room. My parents won't let me make my own decisions. My parents interfere in my life. They don't let me take my decision alone. No.
They say, do this, don't do that. Which complaints seem reasonable? Which ones seem unreasonable and why? Which, one of, which ones seem reasonable or unreasonable? Reasonable, okay. Unreasonable, not okay. And why? My kids never listen to us. This is unreasonable. My kids leave everything until the last minute. Unreasonable. My kids eat too much junk food, junk food, fast food. This is unreasonable. My parents embarrass me in, my, in front of my friends. This is unreasonable. My parents won't let me make my own decisions. This is unreasonable. What other complaints do people sometimes have about family members? Other complaints for the parents, they say, my, my kids don't like to study. My kid doesn't hit the box. Hit the box, start studying. My kids in high school, Senawayama, they don't study. My kids watch television all the time. They always watch TV. My kids chat all the time. Exercise number two. Exercise number two. Look at the picture. What do you see? A boy, a girl. The boy is the boy is watching television. He has a remote control, and he's eating chips. He's eating snacks. He has, of course, the soda, soda, Pepsi, Cola, Seven Up. The girl is talking on inner is talking to her friends. She's talking on the phone. She's speaking to someone, and all her box are all over the floor all her things are all over the floor mass box he is sitting on the couch this is a couch potato very lazy person someone who's lazy who doesn't do anything this is couch potato here man woman father mother those are their kids but this is father and mother they are surprised they're surprised they don't know what to do they are shouting to their kids to do things Conversation, exercise to conversation, turn down the television, listen and practice, listen and re Unit 6. Okay, no problem. Page 36, exercise 2, conversation. Turn down the TV. Part A, listen and practice. Jason. Jason. Turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? <laughs> Definitely. Unit 6. Okay, no problem. Page 36, Exercise 2, Conversation. Turn down the TV. Part A. Listen and practice. Jason. 
Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids? <laughs> Definitely. Mr. Field, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Turn down, decrease, decrease the volume, decrease the sound. Oh, but this is my favorite program. This is my best program. My best program. I know, but it's very loud. It's very noisy. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. Pick up your things. Carry your things. Put them in the correct place. You put all your things on the floor. In a minute, Mom. I am on the phone. I am talking on the telephone. On my mobile. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. But do it as soon as you stop talking on the phone. But do it as soon as you finish your telephone conversation. Okay, no problem. Were we like this when we were kids, when we were children? Of course, definitely, sure. What does Mr. Field ask Jason? He asks him to turn down the television. What was Jason's response? What is Jason's response? Okay, I'll turn it down. What did Ms. Mrs. Field asks Lisa to do. She asks her to pick up her things because they're all over the floor. Lisa said that she she's on the phone. She can't do it now. After she's going to hang up. Were Mr. Field and Mrs. and Mrs. Field like this when they were kids, when they were children? Of course. They were messy. B. Page 36, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What complaints do Jason and Lisa have about their parents? Have you noticed how forgetful Dad is getting? He's always forgetting where his car keys are. It drives me crazy. And he can never find his glasses either. I know. You know what drives me crazy about Mom? What? The awful clothes she wears. Her style is so old-fashioned. It's embarrassing. Yeah, she could use some fashion advice. She should go shopping with you. Oh, well. I guess they're just getting old. I hope I never get like that. Me too. Hey, come on. Let's go play that new game online. Great idea. By the way, have you seen my glasses anywhere? Page 36, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What complaints do Jason and Lisa have about their parents? Have you noticed how forgetful Dad is getting? He's always forgetting where his car keys are. It drives me crazy. And he can never find his glasses either. I know. You know what drives me crazy about Mom? What? The awful clothes she wears. Her style is so old-fashioned. It's embarrassing. Yeah. She could use some fashion advice. She should go shopping with you. Oh, well. I guess they're just getting old. I hope I never get like that. Me too. 
Hey, come on. Let's go play that new game online. Great idea. By the way, have you seen my glasses anywhere? Jason complains about how forgetful his dad is getting. He's always forgetting where his car keys are. Lisa complains that her mother her mother clothes her mother's clothes are unfashionable. Her clothes are out of fashion. Lisa also complains that her daddy can never find his glasses. Page 37, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Two-part verbs. What does it mean two-part verbs? This verb, the verb has two parts. It's not one part. The verb has two parts. We call them phrasal verbs with noun. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. So here is the verb turn plus preposition down. Pick the verb up the preposition. So the verb plus a preposition. So here this is what two parts. The, the verb has two parts, of course, the verb and the preposition. Then we have the TV, the television, is the object. So turn down the TV, verb, preposition, object. Turn the TV down, turn plus the object plus preposition. Pick up your things, pick up plus object your things pick your things the object up plus preposition so this is with nouns okay can I use a pronoun yes with pronouns you can we can what change the television to a pronoun to it turn down the television turn it down so verb it plus preposition, turn it down. Can I say, turn down it? No, this is wrong. Turn it down. Pick up your things. Pick up, pick up your things. So pick up, pick up your things. Verb, pick, preposition, up, your things, objects. Object, your things, object, with pronoun, Change things into what? Them. Pick them up. Pick them up. Can I say pick up them? No, this is wrong. Pick them up. So turn it down. Pick them up. We have the verb turn, pick. Plus pronoun, it, them, plus preposition. So here, verb, it, them, Pronoun, preposition, preposition. So here it and them is the pronoun plus preposition. Again with pronouns, verb, turn, such as turn or pick. Pronoun, it, them, it for singular, for one, them for plural, two, three. Plus preposition, down, up. What about the request and response. The response, responses, answers. So requests, 
and responses. Well for responding to requests. How can we use well? Please turn down the music. This is the request. Request starts with verb. The request starts with verb with the verb. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Okay, I'll I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes your clothes please. Alright, I'll pick them up. So here the request please please turn down the music. Pick up your clothes. In the answer, you can say, okay, all right, I'll. Okay, all right, I'll, I will. I'll plus verb, I'll turn it down. I'll pick them up. And I answer, so I can say, okay, all right, I'll. Let's have this PowerPoint presentation. Two part verbs. Two part verbs. Two part verbs. Turn. Turn on. Turn off. Turn up. Turn down. So two part verbs. Verb which has two parts. One part, two parts. Verb, preposition. Verb, preposition. Turn on, turn off. Turn up, turn down. Example. Turn on the laptop. Turn off the laptop. Turn on the fan. Turn off the fan. Turn up to make the sound higher. To make the volume higher. Turn up the television. Turn up the TV. Turn down the TV. Turn on the fan. This is fan. Turn off the fan. So laptop, fan, television. You can say turn on, turn off. TV, turn up the TV, turn down the TV. Again, two part verbs, verb that has two parts, the verb, preposition. With nouns, turn down the TV, turn down the television, make the volume less. So here we have turn, verb, down, preposition, the TV, object. The TV, object. Object, O-B-J-E-C-T. Turn the television down. I can have it verb, turn, the TV, object, down preposition two part verbs with nouns i can say turn down the tv or turn the tv down the tv the noun at the end of a sentence or in the middle between the verb and the preposition with pronouns turn turn it down Television, one, it. So, turn it down, singular. Turn it down. Can I say, turn down it? No, wrong. Turn it down. So, you can say, turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Turn it down. You can't say, turn down it. No, this is wrong. But turn it down, correct. Two part verbs with nouns pick up your things. So your things plural 
two, three, four verb, pick, preposition, up, your things, object. Pick your things up. Pick, verb, your things, object, up, preposition. With pronouns. Pick them up. So here, because things, plural, two, three, four, we'll make the pronoun them. Two part verbs with pronoun here, we'll make it them because the object, the noun, two, three, four, things, plural. With pronoun, turn it down, pronoun it. Pick them up, it, them. So here you have the verb, turn, pick. This is the verb. At them, at them. The pronoun, the preposition, down, up. This is the preposition. So we have the verb, the pronoun, the preposition. Turn it down, pick them up. If I have here, like the television, turn the TV down, it's singular. One, I can make it. Pronoun it, it, singular. Pick them up, like pick your things up. So plural, two, three, four, them. Verb, it, for one, singular. Them, plural, two, three, four, plus preposition. Responding with well. How can you respond? Someone tell you. Turn down the TV, please. Pick your things up, please. How can you answer this? You can use well. The model well is used to respond to a request. It means we use well for answer a request. This is a request. For example, turn down the TV. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your things, please. All right, I'll pick them up. So in the answer here, say, okay, all right, I'll. I'll turn, I'll pick, pronoun, at them, plus preposition, down, up. Example. Please turn down the TV. Okay. I'll turn it down. Turn it down. Please pick up your things. All right. I'll pick them up. Pick them up. Pronoun them. A. Complete the request with these words, then compare with the partner. In this exercise, you have here 10 requests and you have 10 pictures. You try to write these words here in the blanks. You answer, you write, you take the words and write them here. After the verb, after the verb, you will write these words. Of course, more than one answer is possible. Maybe for one question, you could have two, three, four answers. We have the box, the toys, the music, your jacket, the television, your boots, the yard, the lights, the trash, the cat, the cat. One, pick up. Pick up the toys, please. Two. Turn off, please. I use turn off with a lot of things. 
So I can say, turn the music. Turn the music off. Turn the television off. Turn the lights off. So number two, turn the radio. So turn the music. Turn the television. Turn the lights. Three, clean up, please. Three, clean the yard up, please. Clean the yard up, please. Four, please put away. Put what away? Put the box away. Put the toys. Put your jacket away. So, the box, the toys, your jacket. Five, please turn down. Turn down the music, turn down the television, the TV. Six, please take off. Take off your boots. These are boots, so take off your boots. Seven, hang. Hang, hang your jacket up, please. Hang your jacket up, please. Eight, please take out. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. This is the trash. Garbage. Take out the, the trash. The garbage. Nine. Please let out. Let what out? Let the cat out. Let the cat out. Let the cat out. Turn on. Turn on the radio. Turn on the television. Turn on the music. Turn on the lights. Please. Number B. Pair work. Take turns making the requests above. Respond with pronouns. Here in this exercise, you and your friend A and B, Ahmed and Basim, Ahmed, pick up the toys, please. No problem. I'll pick them up. Okay, I'll pick them up. So here, A, make a request. B, respond. Say, okay, no problem. I'll plus the verb. Example. Turn, turn the TV off, please. Okay, I'll turn it off. So you change the toys into them, and if something singular, one, use it. Like, turn the television off, please. Okay, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it, it, it for the television, put the TV, one. Exercise number four, pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Page 37, exercise 4. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Listen and repeat. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. So here, the stress. What means stress? Stress to make the sound higher, louder, and longer. Where is the stress? On the two part verbs, on what? The verb pick, turn, preposition, up, off, and the object, toys, light. 
the noun. So here we have the stress on the verb, preposition, and the noun, the object. But of course, the, this is article, the, the, no stress, no stress. The, a, uh, and uh, no stress. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. So here, pick, we says on pick, toys up. Turn, light off. But we don't stress that. Here, pick them up. Turn it off. We stress the verb pick, turn, and the preposition up and off. We don't stress them or it. Why? Because it and them don't give me information. They are old information. But pick the verb. This is very important. Give me the meaning. And up. The preposition change the meaning of the verb. This is why we stress what give me the meaning. We stress what gives what gives the meaning, such as the verb and the preposition or the noun. But we don't stress pronoun at them. I don't stress the. Exercise five, word power. Household chores. Find a phrase that's usually paired with each two-part verb. Some ver phrases go with more than one verb. Then add one more phrase for each verb. So here we have different words. And we could write these words here with these verbs. More than one answer is possible. The garbage. The groceries. Groceries like chocolate, milk, washing powder, cheese. Things we, pu we buy from the supermarket. The magazines. Like the newspapers. The mess. The microwave. The towels. Your coat. Your laptop. Clean up. Clean up the mess. Clean up the kitchen. Hang up. Hang up the towels. Hang up your coat. Hang up the phone to end a telephone conversation. Pick up. Pick up the mess. Pick up your coat. Pick up the newspapers. Pick up the magazines. Pick up the towels. Pick up the toys. I can use pick up with a lot of words. Put away. Put away the newspapers, put away the magazines, put away the groceries, the groceries, put away the towels, put away your things. Take out. Take out the garbage. Take out the newspapers. Take out the dog. Throw out. Throw out the garbage. Throw out the newspapers. Throw out the magazines. Throw out the old food. Turn off or turn on. Turn off your laptop, the microwave, the light. Turn on your laptop, the microwave, the light. B. What requests can you make in each of these rooms? So in these rooms, what other requests you can ask? Write for requests and for excuses is two part verbs. The kitchen in the kitchen. What can you ask? Clean up the kitchen. Take out the garbage. Take out the trash. Throw out the old food. Turn on the microwave. The microwave is in the American kitchen. Turn off the microwave. The bathroom. The bathroom, you can say, pick up the towels. Pick up the mess. 
turn on the light or turn off the light the living room in the living room you can say turn on the light turn off the light take out the newspapers take out the magazines pick up the toys the bedroom the bedroom hang up your coat hang up the towels Turn off the light. She, per work, take turns making the requests you wrote in part B. In part B, respond by giving an excuse. Respond, answer by saying, okay, an excuse, like, sorry, I can. A, Kim, please, hang up the coat you left in the living room. Kim, B. Sorry, I can't hang it up right now. I can't hang it right now. I need to take the cat out for a walk. I need to take my cat for a walk. I want to walk my cat in the street. So I can't hang the coat now. I am very busy. I'm so sorry. This is why. This is Kim. It's very happy because she would like to get her cat and take it for a walk a walk British American walk of course second person her friend is surprised exercise number six listening family life so here look at the picture what do you see this is what man woman kids so this is a family boy yes boys they're eating yes so about family life listen to the results of a survey about family life answer each question with men m men women w boys b or girls or g so here you tell me who does this a boy, a girl, a man, or a woman, okay? And then, in number B, you write what specific chores do men, women, boys, and girls usually do? At home, you write what do men do, what do women do, what do boys do, and what do girls do? Listen and take notes. You are going to listen twice. You're going to listen two times. Page 38, exercise 6. Listening. Family life. Part A. Listen to the results of a survey about family life. Answer each question with men, women, boys, or girls. Welcome to this week's program, Do Men Have It Easy?, where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men and women in families. First, thanks to all of you who responded to our survey. John? Thanks, Jennifer. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Walters, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Jennifer? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest person in the house? The answer was boys. 92% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Jennifer? That was, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. And what about the groceries, Jennifer? Well, according to our results, boys and girls usually put the groceries away. That's surprising. So what else do the women do? Ah, well, that's our next question. 
Who worries most about expenses? In the majority of homes, it seems that women worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, My mother always nags me and my sister. She tells us to get off the phone, to stop spending so long on the computer, to turn off the TV, well, everything really. I always thought she just liked to nag, but maybe she's really worried about money. I think that's probably true, don't you, John? Yes, very interesting. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Walters. Page 38, Exercise 6. Listening. Family Life. Part A. Listen to the results of a survey about family life. Answer each question with men, women, boys, or girls. Welcome to this week's program, Do Men Have It Easy?, where we'll take a look at the roles and responsibilities of men and women in families. First, thanks to all of you who responded to our survey. John? Thanks, Jennifer. Later on in the program, we'll be taking your phone calls and talking to Dr. Walters, a family psychologist, who will answer your questions. And now for the results of the survey. Jennifer? Well, in response to the first question, who is the messiest person in the house? The answer was boys. 92% of you said that your sons or brothers don't help much around the house. They don't pick up their things, don't hang up their clothes, and leave their clothes lying around. Interesting. And what about the second question, Jennifer? That was, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Well, 84% of you answered women. Many of you also explained that the boys and men usually take out the garbage. The girls and women tend to cook, do the dishes, and clean up. And what about the groceries, Jennifer? Well, according to our results, boys and girls usually put the groceries away. That's surprising. So what else do the women do? Ah, well, that's our next question. Who worries most about expenses? In the majority of homes, it seems that women worry most about household expenses. One young man wrote to us saying, My mother always nags me and my sister. She tells us to get off the phone, to stop spending so long on the computer, to turn off the TV. Well, everything really. I always thought she just liked to nag, but maybe she's really worried about money. I think that's probably true, don't you, John? Yes, very interesting. And now I'd like to introduce Dr. Walters. Who is the messiest person in the house? Messiest, messy, not tidy. Boys, boys, who does most of the work in the kitchen? Women, women, W, women. Who usually takes out the garbage? Boys and men, B and M. Who worries most about expenses? Women, W. Listen again. According to the survey, according to this questionnaire, what specific chores do men, women, boys and girls usually do chores things that you usually do at home such as cleaning washing the dishes men take out the garbage men take out the garbage women cook do the dishes clean up Boys take out the garbage, put the groceries away. Boys take out the garbage, put the groceries away. Girls cook, do the dishes, clean up, put the groceries away.
girls girls cook do the dishes clean up put the groceries away c group work discuss the questions in part a and b who does these things in your family in your house in your home who does these things who is the messiest okay who does most of the work in the kitchen who takes out the garbage who cares and worries about expenses who do, who does the dishes who puts the groceries away who clean up who cooks now that's the end of unit number six part one homework number one listen and repeat keep the words by heart number two you have to keep the words by heart for the kilomet quite good then this my one color listening mara with new talent number two answer three pages in the workbook unit six interchange two for sedition and go by our telesafat for unit number six workbook number four go to www.interchangerkit.org you will have more questions answer more questions five watch the video interchange to unit six for sedition interchange video فرغ على حالة الفيديو اللي هي عملها جامعة كامبريدج وبتقدم لنا الفيديو بشكل عملي عن استخدام اللغة wish you all good luck finally if you like it share it and subscribe شكرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus. Your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. ممكن نجيب كتاب Interchange في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم. الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر. والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية بيقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاق الدقي مجرد ما تخرج من مترو أنفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتبة سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انتر تشينج سلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الامازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعة الانتر تشينج What are the common complaints of families with teenagers? Who are teenagers? Teenagers boys and girls from 11 to 19 years old so teenagers are from 11 to 19 years old what are teenagers like teenagers are nervous not rational emotional don't listen to the advice 
of other people, of the elder people, teenagers, very sensitive and emotional. My kids don't help around the house. My kids, my son and daughter, never help us around the house. What mean around the house? They don't help us in doing the household chores. They don't cut the grass in the garden. They don't do anything. Our, my kids are always texting their friends all the time. They are having the mobiles and texting their friends. Send text messages to their friends. My friends, my kids, my kids never listen to us. My kids, my children never listen to us. I tell him to do something, he disobey. He or she disobeys me, disobeys me, doesn't listen to me, doesn't follow my orders. My kids eat too much junk food. They eat a lot of fast food, junk food, fast food. My kids leave everything until the last minute. If I ask them to do their homework, عامل امتحان تحت المستوى وطلع في pre intermediate two. فعليه إن الطالب لازم يبدأ بكورس الصوتيات قبل unit ديت وقبل ما يبدأ المستوى بتاعنا. لأن نوت عندنا أمريكان فهيبدأ على الأقل خالص يخلص أول أربع أو خمس حلقات من كورس الصوتيات. كورس الصوتيات ست محاضرات. طبعا لو الطالب قدر إنه يخلص ست محاضرات يبقى كويس جدا. Unit 6. Okay, no problem. Page 36. 1. Nag. To complain continuously. Criticize. To say bad things about. Don't respect my privacy. Aren't careful to keep my things secret. Bother. Bother, that sound. Bother, annoy. How, household chores. Household chores means regular works at home such as cleaning washing the dishes to turn down decrease pick up collect hang up to finish your telephone conversation hang up to finish your telephone conversation goodness an exclamation showing surprise or annoyance so goodness and exclamation definitely definitely certainly three trash garbage put out i can make the t of t put out put out the cigarette put out the cigarette to stop burning to stop to stop burning turn on Tear off. Find the words of exercise number five. Clean up the mess. Clean up the kitchen. Hang up the towel. Pick up the. They leave it until the last minute, until the exam. If I ask them to study, they never study. But only when the exam is tomorrow, they start study. What about the complaints of kids about their parents? My parents, you see what? My parents embarrass me in front of my friends. They put me in a very ashamed situation. They embarrass me. They put me in shame. My parents don't respect my privacy. They violate my privacy. They don't respect my privacy. My parents criticize my taste in music. My parents don't respect my taste in music. My parents say bad things about my taste in music. My parents nag me to clean up my room. Nag. To ask continuously. 
they ask me all the time to clean up my room. My parents won't let me make my own decisions. My parents interfere in my life. They don't let me take my decision alone. No, they say do this, don't do that. Which complaints seem reasonable? Which ones seem unreasonable, and why? Which one of which ones seem reasonable or unreasonable? Reasonable, okay. Unreasonable, not okay. And why? My kids never listen to us. This is unreasonable. My kids leave everything until the last minute. Unreasonable. My kids eat too much. Fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. اهلا بكم في حلقه جديده وفيديو جديد لقناتنا English for Arabs النهارده ان شاء الله هناخد الوحده السادسه بارت 1 هذا ضم الفيديو معاني الكلمات شرح الاسئله بالاضافه الى PowerPoint للجرامر اهم حاجه ان الطالب يحفظ الكلمات كويس جدا in English not in Arabic يحفظ الكلمات باللغه الانجليزيه مش بالعربي ويبدا ان هو يستمع للغه الانجليزيه We are going to use English. We are not gonna use Arabic in our explanation, so please try to keep the words by heart. In English, this is Unit Six, and this is the beginning of Level Pre-Intermediate Two. Pre-Intermediate Two includes Units Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, and Ten. From Unit Six. To level to unit 10. Interchange to for sedation. Before you start this level, be sure that at least you have finished four lectures of the phonetic course. Speak American in 10 minutes. أهم حاجة إن الطالب لو كان جديد على القناة التويز Put away the newspapers, take out the garbage, throw out the old food, turn on your laptop, turn off the light, turn off the light. 6. Survey questionnaire. Survey questionnaire. Psychologist, P. Silent. Psychologist, a scientist in psychology. In majority of, in majority of, T. Safdi, British in majority of. In majority of, American in majority of, in most of, in most of, of, so if of. Okay, no problem. Unit 6. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Look at the picture. What do you see? This picture. Man, woman, husband, wife. Second picture. Boy, girl, son, daughter. Parents. What about the, the parents? They are wearing classic. They have classic fashions. But look at their kids. This one is listening to music. He has a backward cap. Backward cap. He's drinking juice. She's talking to her friends all the time on mobile. And she's texting. She's, 
she texting her friends. Common complaints of families with teenagers. <laughs> 